Hello friends, this video on aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we see reduction to alcohol. We know that we have carboxylic acids. If you reduce, you get ketones and aldehydes. If you reduce further, you get alcohols. And you reduce further, you get alkenes. So we'll study both. We'll study now from ketones and aldehydes to alcohol and ketones and aldehydes to alkenes. That we'll study in the next slide. Now we'll study ketones and aldehydes to alcohol. So we'll use reducing agent. And reducing agents we can use NABH4, we can use LIALH4, right? Or you can use hydrogen with the nickel or uh, uh, platinum so a lot of things we can use to uh, reduce right so with this for example I have a aldehyde and I use LIALH4 what you get is RCH2OH or even if you use hydrogen with nickel or platinum catalyst you get the same thing now what is the reaction mechanism let's see the reaction mechanism let's try with LIALH4 so if you see LiAlH4, it is Li plus Al minus or AlH3 plus and H minus. This is how it is actually. The source of H minus ions. That is how it looks. It is the source of H minus ion, LiAlH4, right? You can see the whole thing is plus LiAlH3 and H minus ion. So now if I have R COH and this is negative, this is slightly positive, this is H minus from this, right? H minus AlH3 Li, the whole thing in the positive charge. This will attack this carbon. Correct. So what you get is R CO minus. H and you get H here actually, H minus, right? No negative charge here. And on this, any H plus will come and attack. Sorry, it will be attack on this, this way. O minus will attack H plus. Always from negative to positive attack. And this is what you get. Easy only. Now let's see reduction of aldehydes and ketones to hydrocarbons. As I've just discussed, I have carboxylic acid. You reduce to aldehydes or ketone. You further reduce to alcohol. You further reduce to alkanes. Right? So we'll try this one. So there are two ways actually to do it. One is Clemens sun reduction and the other is Wolf Kistner reduction. So let's see the Clemens reduction first. In Clemens reduction what we do is we have this uh, aldehyde so ketone we reflux with zinc amalgam and concentrated acid, preferably SCL. So we have aldehydes. I'm doing the first one, Clemens reduction. Aldehyde or ketone. You react with zinc amalgam. Correct. And some acid. Concentrated. So what you get is so you had CO, it becomes CH2. That's how it is. See, the reaction mechanism is uh, similar to hydrogenation kind of reaction. So, what happens, for example, I have R, CO, R, correct? And I have this zinc metal. This is my zinc, correct? So, what happens is, the zinc surface actually, this is zinc surface.
Now, flow of electron from zinc to carbonyl compound take place. So we see this carbon is slightly positive, slightly negative, right? So flow of electron will take place from here to here. There will be bond form and this bond will break. Correct. So what will happen now is next step is, so zinc will get a positive charge. There is a bond form, this is O minus R and R. Correct. And since I am using HCl here, some H plus ion will come and will attack here. It will become neutral. So now what will happen is it will form OH. Zinc with still one bond, one positive charge, Cr, R and OH. Since I am using a lot of HCl, again one more H plus will come. So H plus will be attacked where? So oxygen is the only one which has lone pair. So this will attack this H plus. So what will happen is, what will happen now is, again still I am having one positive charge on zinc. There is a one bond here, there is R here, R here, and this will become H2O with a positive charge. There is a heavy molecule H2O with positive charge, so it will have minus water here. It will go up on its own. So what you will get here is carbon with a positive charge and 2R. Right? Now zinc, as I told, has a potential to give electrons right so zinc will give one more electron to it so with this it will form one more bond and this positive charge will go off and zinc will become plus two charge correct because zinc has a potential to give electrons this is what it will become correct now again h plus will attack this is neutral now. Again, it will attack and the electrons here, right? it's bond here. So this bond will again break and this bond will break in this fashion actually. Right? Now, zinc will have three positive charge. One, two, three. And this bond will break. Carbon will get a negative charge and negative in charge and this hydrogen will be attacked here. So we'll get one H here. Similarly, one more H plus addition. Again, this bond will break in this fashion. Zinc will get four positive charge. Right? This bond breaks. Carbon gets a negative charge, and that negative charge this will be attacked. Negative and positive will form a bond. So what you get here is this, and this is the output. Right? And this is nothing but 2 general 2 plus. Right? 2 zinc with 2 positive charge, nothing but zinc with 4 positive charge. So because it's, it's, it's a zinc plate, the zinc surface, there are so many zinc atoms in that. This is the typical process. You use zinc with amalgam and HCl. And HCl is playing the major role and zinc is just providing more and more electrons. Right? Because zinc is happy to become general plus 2. This is more stable. This we have studied. Right? So zinc is the purpose of zinc is to provide electrons here and that's what it's doing. It's just providing electrons here. And hydrogen is getting added. So this is the typical reaction mechanism. I have zinc surface. I have this RCOR, this bond breaks, positive charge, negative, and this oxygen gets negative charge. Zinc provides electron to it, forms a bond. Hydrogen attacks this OH. Again, hydrogen attacks this OH minus H2O. Carbon gets a positive charge. Again, zinc provides electrons to this, forms a double bond. Right, zinc has got two double bonds. Zinc has got there's a double bond between carbon and zinc now, and zinc has got two positive charge. Again, H plus attacks, zinc gives a more electron to it. Right? And the hydrogen is added here. Again, H plus attacks, zinc gives a more electron to it. It's added here, and this is free. So if you see this thing is got reduced now. Correct? So this is reduction to hydrocarbon using zinc metal plate and HCl. So we are done with the Clemenson reduction. Now we will talk about the wolf kirchner reaction. So in this, the carbonyl compound is first converted to hydrozone. 
hydro zone by reacting with hydrazine so carbonyl compounds react with hydrazine to form hydrozone and then it is refluxed with a base preferably sodium methoxide at a high temperature maybe ethoxide sodium methoxide to h5ona at a high temperature maybe 460 kelvin so with this you get ch2 and obviously nitrogen gas also comes out so this is the typical wolf krishner reduction we'll see the mechanism now first let me write this overview of this reaction this reacts with hydrazine that is ns2 ns2 this is my hydrazine to gives hydro zone and then it reacts with my base to form CH2 and N2S. Now I'll discuss the reaction mechanism. So let's start with this reaction. I have let's suppose R C O O R. This is my sum ketone and then I have NH2 NH2 with lone pairs. Correct? As I told this carbon is slightly positive slightly negative so since i'm not adding anything except this ns2 ns2 this hydrazine what will happen is this as lone pair it will get attracted towards carbon with a positive charge correct so with this the product that will be formed is you have c right so you get let's suppose yeah let me draw like this O minus, I'm just drawing here, NH2, NH2. Correct? This is what we'll get. This o, o will become O minus, and this will become NH2, NH2. And since nitrogen has given electron to this carbon, nitrogen will get a positive charge. Correct? Now let me draw H2 like this to give it a better look and feel correct this nitrogen will get a positive charge but nitrogen being electro negative element will not like negative positive charge on it so hydrogen will say okay i'll break the bond in this fashion and i'll come out and this h plus will be attracted by this o minus correct this h plus will come out attracted by this oh o minus so what you'll get is R C R this becomes sorry yeah this becomes O H and this is N with H right and N H two and again with a lone pair of electrons here here also we'll have lone pair of electrons this is what you'll get correct again H plus will attack and take away the water from here so H plus will attack will attack this is it doesn't make sense to attack here right because just it got uh, it came out from this nitrogen only because the moment you attack H plus on this nitrogen gets a positive charge it won't like it will again kick the H plus out so it will go to this oxygen it will become H2O plus this is a bulky group so it will come out it will come out and this will be carbon will get a positive charge because this bond will break and H2O will come out this is what you will get correct now what will happen is this hydrogen will also come out Nitrogen will get a negative charge and there if you see there will be double bond form because carbon is also not very happy with the double bond with a positive charge not very happy so it want to get rid of the positive charge alkyl not good leaving group so this hydrogen will go off in this fashion in this fashion 
right in h plus it will go up because h is a good leaving group so i think it's a negative charge negative and positive charge will form a bond this is what my compound is hydro zone so i got this now correct this is what i have got once i have got this l use base what base will do base will take out hydrogen correct so let me draw hydrogen in this fashion because base has to take hydrogen so let me draw hydrogen properly here yeah like this base will do what take out hydrogen so base can be anything For example i have used c2h5 o minus is the base so c2h5 o minus will do what c2h5 o minus will come and want hydrogen where is the hydrogen hydrogen is here in these nitrogens right so it will come and take out this attack on this hydrogen correct hydrogen goes off then this nitrogen will get a negative charge correct so let's do that nitrogen gets a negative charge and there is a hydrogen here correct also nitrogen has lone pair of electrons now because of resonance if you see this has lone pair of electrons these electrons will move in this direction and these will move in this direction right so with this what will happen is see our job is to put hydrogen here right so what will happen is carbon will get negative charge correct and this bond will break actually this bond broke and nitrogen nitrogen will get a double bond and with the h here that will not will happen this is what happens because resonance this lone pair moves here it gets double bond this bond breaks it moves here carbon gets a negative charge right yes now on this my h plus can attack easily correct so i get h plus here that is pretty easy now i have to remove another hydrogen from here because nitrogen n2 gas can easily come out if it want to uh, come out also in a stable so again i'll have c2h5 o minus that will attack this hydrogen so i'm just putting two steps in one because i don't have space to write so with this what you get is here you get hydrogen anyway and the second step this will attack this h and pull out this h so it will get a negative charge correct and again nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons again because of the resonance if you see this charge goes in this fashion triple bond and this bond breaks actually in this way so with this what you get is r c h with a minus charge and n2 gas comes out and this minus charge there is a h plus ion it will attack here and you get r r c h2 so this is the typical reaction mechanism it is tricky but it's good to know reaction mechanism to understand these reactions in a better way so here first hydrozone is formed and then you use base base pulls up this hydrogen from this nitrogen nitrogen gas comes out and you get this alkane thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching